So what is up Pim Toes and Buffaloes and welcome back today to another episode of Storytime, the series where I tell you guys stories from my childhood. So today we're going to have some more Black Ops 2 gameplay in the background. Whenever I go on and have sort of like a try hard session with some of you guys off of Twitter, I always seem to come away with some pretty nice games, be it TDM, Domination, Hardpoint. Today it's probably going to be a TDM of some sort, maybe even some League play, who knows. But anyway, let's get into this story and unfortunately, well, you guys will probably enjoy it. But unfortunately for me, it's another drunken story, which led to my one and only broken bone in my body. Of course, it's it's not broken now, it's, it's repaired, and I don't really seem to be having any further after effects from this broken bone, but it was my fifth metatarsal on my left foot. I'll probably leave a diagram on the page or something. And unfortunately, once again, it was because I was under the influence of alcohol. I wasn't completely wasted, bearing in mind I was like 15 years old, so I should not have been drinking in public whatsoever but I was drinking Strongbow with a friend of mine and to be quite honest Strongbow is a reasonably cheap cider so we just bought it because we could afford it and now I do not drink Strongbow whatsoever. I think it's disgusting. I'd much rather drink Magnus or Bulmers if I'm going to go for a nice cider. So I was drinking Strongbow and like I said I wasn't wasted but I was under the influence and we met a couple of friends in a park. Well <laughs> it sounds fucking awful because it really is. We were underage, it was a Friday night, we were in a park, playing football in the dark. Ridiculous. I'd much rather stay in and play COD on a Friday night if I just couldn't go out and do proper things with my friends instead of just being juveniles in a park. But we were there and I started dribbling this football around the park, just, you know, taking on slides, taking on swings because I'm a fucking machine, I'm joking. But um, I come up to this little tiny bench that's in the park and I've tried to poke the ball under the bench, go around the other side, keep dribbling, you know, cool things that we do when we are 15 years old. Unfortunately for me, there was a pothole in the floor. I've stepped in the pothole and my foot has pretty much stayed there and the rest of my body has just gone forward. So first of all, my initial reaction was, oh shit, I've twisted my ankle. This is painful. And it's that really awkward moment where you're sat there and you know you've either got to get up or crawl off. And I didn't know if it was broken. I had no idea at this stage that it was broken. But I was in quite a bit of pain. So I thought I'll try and stand up. But this was one of the most painful experiences I've ever experienced. I stood up and my foot, my leg just gave way because my toe, my metatarsal was broken. I couldn't stand up. So at this point, I'm literally in agony. I'm thinking, shit, there's something going badly wrong here. So I made the further mistake of taking off my shoe, which once again is another horribly painful thing. And I could already see a major swelling. My foot had literally blown up to the size of the football. And I was pretty much shitting myself at this point. So I got a lift home from my granddad, actually. He was, he's, he's a complete legend. He picked me up, he took me home. And from this point, I was literally sat there with a bag of frozen peas. Yes, frozen peas. It may even have been frozen fucking parsnips. I was sat there with frozen vegetables on my foot because it was sort of soothing the pain, trying to take the swelling down. At this point, we didn't know it was broken. We just thought it was badly bruised. And I sat there all weekend in agony. Couldn't walk. I was either in bed playing PlayStation because I was playing on the PS3 at that point just solely all weekend, sat on the sofa watching football, I couldn't walk. And I was saying to my mum, look, I need to go to the hospital. I think it's broken. Look at it. It's literally like my foot was black, just completely bruised. It was the size of a fucking football. But no, my mum still said, it's not bruised. It's not broken. It's just bruised. So I was sat there, just couldn't do anything. And by the time Sunday came, bearing in mind this happened on the Friday, it got to late on Sunday night. And it was literally, my sister was getting ready for school. I was supposed to be getting ready for school, but I couldn't freaking walk. So I said to her, look, please, can you take me to the hospital? We went to the hospital and my worst nightmare came true. It was a big, fat woman who was going to be butchering my foot up to see if it was broken. She was there with all the car stuff, getting ready to put me in like, I don't know, some sort of co no. Oh, I it's not that bad, I'm not going to go into coma. But she was there butchering up my foot, wrapping it up in plaster, and she said, yeah, the x-ray shows that it's broken. And at this point, I was thinking to my mother, because I did say that it was broken, but she said no, but obviously I didn't do that because it's rude. But um, <laughs> it, was, it was a horrible, horrible experience because I probably wouldn't have done that. I probably wouldn't have been just going around the park, just dribbling the football if I wasn't under the influence of alcohol. But at the same time, I don't really want to blame it 100% 
for the broken foot. So I go away on crutches, my foot's in plaster, and the story doesn't end there because the next morning I completely forget about my foot being in plaster and I step out of bed straight on it. This was more painful than the break and the initial standing on it itself because I literally just stepped out of bed as if it was a normal day and oh my effing god. That was horribly painful. I almost was sick because it was that painful, but yeah, I was in a cast for about 10 weeks, which was not fun. It may have been like eight weeks. I don't think I lasted the full 10 weeks in a cast, but that is the story of my only broken bone in my body. <laughs> Touch wood again. Hopefully, I don't go breaking any other bones in the near future. But anyway, guys, I know this has been a little bit longer than some of my other videos. If you did enjoy it and you're still here, leave a comment saying, I don't know, hashtag PHAB. In the comment section, Pimps, Hoes and Buffaloes. You guys know what it stands for. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video as well. And I'll speak to you guys next time. Goodbye.